This is an update of the monkeypox virus as of August 4, 2022. It looks like the virus is spreading even more rapidly than expected and has the potential of being even more dangerous. The total number of global cases of monkeypox is 26,864. Of these 26,519 are in regions that do not normally see this virus. In regions where monkeypox has been seen before, the increase is only 345. This is outrageous and stresses the need for education, planning, and treatment strategies, ASAP. Last week, the World Health Organization classified the worldwide monkeypox outbreak as a public health emergency of international concern, putting it on par with diseases such as COVID-19, Ebola, and polio. New York, California, and Illinois have already issued states of emergency, with long queues of people gathering outside clinics dispensing monkeypox vaccines. Similarly, the U.S. government has declared a public health emergency in response to the spread of monkeypox in a move that will give federal health agencies additional funds and powers to combat the virus. I will be declaring a public health emergency on monkeypox, U.S. Health Secretary Xavier Becerra said at a briefing on Thursday. We are prepared to take our response to the next level in addressing this virus and we urge every American to take monkeypox seriously. This is important because there is growing criticism of the Biden administration's response to the outbreak. Health experts say it has led to delays in testing and shortages of available vaccines. The administration revealed that they have received hundreds of thousands of additional monkeypox vaccine doses. They are saying this to satiate their audience, it seems. Because the part that they are leaving out is that there are not enough vaccines to address the growing spread. The next arrival of vaccines that we are scheduled to receive is not until October, which leaves the United States months without any vaccines as the infected population continues to grow. Counting the latest shipments of vaccines, there are only enough vials of the two-dose Genios vaccine to cover about a third of the estimated 1.6 million gay and bisexual men who officials consider at highest risk and who are being urged to get the shots. The United States has been doubling the spread of monkeypox every 7.6 days, so we need to address this sooner than later. We cannot wait these three months. Currently, the only FDA-approved vaccine is the Genios vaccine. The only other is the less desirable vaccine, ACAM2000, which was approved for smallpox but not monkeypox. They are the same type of virus, so it is thought that it will have similar effects. Sources report that over 5,200 people in the United States, mostly gay and bisexual men, have been diagnosed with monkeypox. In fact, the U.S. accounts for about a quarter of the 25,054 reported global infections of the virus. This spreads via skin-to-skin -skin contact, causes fever, swollen glands, severe pain, and lesions. The symptoms vary with the variant of monkeypox, but those are the standard symptoms. Experts believe that hundreds or thousands of cases likely remain undetected. As a note, this disease is rarely fatal and the United States has yet to confirm a death due to monkeypox. It is rarely fatal, but some people have reported the pain associated with it to be excruciating and have said it was the worst pain they have ever felt. There is a fear that this disease will become entrenched in our society, however. There is the danger that if monkeypox migrates into the American rodent population, this thing will be darn near impossible to control. Basically, we do not have enough vaccines to treat this virus. It would not be that far of a stretch to imagine that the laundering of soil sheets or clothing or the touching of infected materials can be found to broaden the outbreak to other populations outside of the gay, bisexual communities. To address this future possibility, the Biden administration have said they have acquired raw materials for 11 million potential Genios doses. A step in the right direction, but still far off. U.S. officials said the emergency declaration would expand access to testing, treatments, and data sharing with states to help track the spread of the disease across the country. Health officials are also considering implementing a dose-sharing approach for the Genios vaccine which means they borrow doses from other less impacted countries and pay it back later. Other ideas are to give a single dose of the two-dose vaccine instead of the full two doses to increase the population reached. 
The FDA frowns on this strategy and says that health officials should not stray from the instructions. Monkeypox is spreading rapidly and we need to take action. We need to implement education, awareness, vaccines, and treatment strategies to help stop the spread of this virus. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.